we back with another video. Today, we got y'all boys with the best dribble animations in NBA 2K23 for pretty much the rest of 2K. Um, we in season eight, they got another season coming. But yeah, this should be the best dribble animation for the rest of the game. It's not gonna really be too much more they can add. If they end up dropping like the best of the best, like say for instance, they drop like the best dribble style, all that for each category, 2K is some trouble. Like, come on, bro. We've been waiting for seasons now, and we gotta wait to season nine to get the best stuff. That would be crazy. So the likelihood of that is pretty much zero. So they've even been moving on to 2K24. Should we good? We should be getting like more and more news for 2K24 and less less stuff for 2K23. So with that being said, this should be the best of the best. So yeah, we're gonna be going over all that for all builds, whether you're a guard, swing, big, it should not matter. Uh, at every single different thing when it comes to the animations. So yeah, if you guys do want more videos like this, just make sure to drop the likes. Hopefully you drop the like. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below to help that road through all that good stuff out the way. No more talking. Further ado, your boy fits. Let's hop into it. Alright, so let's get into the uh dribble animations. So yeah, let's go over everything. Now, when it comes to best dribble animations, first things first is always, always, always gonna be the dribble styles. When it comes to the dribble styles, we gotta hop into it. Now there was a new one that dropped this season. Uh, the Trey Young, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think it's gonna be, I don't think it's gonna be too crazy. Now, if it is, it is. Then you gotta start making some of these builds with 92 plus three uh, speed ball. But people wasn't doing that for the Stephen Curry. People wasn't doing the 88 plus for the Kobe. People wasn't doing that 85 plus for the Allen Iverson. They've been with the uh, Michael Jordan pretty much the whole year. And I'm gonna just stick with Michael Jordan until it's proven false. Um, the reason why. Um, it's just more comfortable for people and it's cheaper when it comes to making your bills. So, um, I don't know if people really even gonna make that change if they do because it's that good Then it's the best one. But yeah, as a further notice, it's definitely still Michael Jordan. All right, next is the signature size up me personally by far the best one is Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose. Now, um, when it comes to other ones for the small guards, I definitely got to go ahead and tell y'all the Steve Francis, the Trey Youngs. Those are two of the best ones in the game. Now, when it comes to swings, I definitely would have to recommend stuff like the De'Aaron Fox, the Tracy McGrady, the Dwayne Wade. But my favorite one probably... Oh, actually, nah. Donovan Mitchell is really good, too. But my favorite one probably is uh, Ray John Rondo. That's probably my favorite one for the swing for the swings. But if you're a big, by far the best one is, uh, is the Ray John Rondo. You can use this if you're a swing or a big. I, I think it was on a video. Somebody gave me this one. Hey, shout out to you, bro. I've been using this for the past season. Even probably a little bit of the season before that, but for sure that last season I was using this a lot. So yeah, shout out to whoever that was. Bro, I've been using this crazy, especially on my 610 big man where I can't get this on really nothing else. So yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, next is the size of a skate package. The size of a skate package easily, easily, in my opinion, the best one is the Stephen Curry or the Trey Young. Now there's an underrated one right in between that that kind of blends both of them, but not as good at like what those two are best at. Like the Curry has like a... It has some pretty decent like animation, but it also has the hot back. It has the curry slide. The Trey Young has some great crabs. Like pretty much Damian Lillard is both of those, but not as good as both of those. Like it doesn't have like a curry slide equivalent like the Trey Young, but it does have some good crabs. It also does have the like the little hot back that everybody likes to have. But it also is really good to speed boost in and out of, just like the Trey Young. So I think Damian Lillard is like right there at that third place. Um, then you got stuff like Kyrie that takes a lot more skill. Then you got the LeBron for like the people that don't really have the highest ball handle. Then you got the ja, John Wall people that don't have the highest ball handle, but you have to be under 6'10". Um, but the new one is Allen Iverson. Now this is another thing that kind of could be like Trey Young for the dribble styles. It could be good, but we don't know as of right now. I don't think it's gonna be too crazy. It could be good for like the. I think there's some decent animations in it when it comes to like the explosive ball in the back. When it comes to like some of the crabs, but the hot back ain't too crazy like people kind of expected it to have. And now we got the moving crossover. The best one in the game, the meta one for sure, is the Russell Westbrook. The one I like to use a lot is Jordan Poole. But you also got some other ones that a lot of people like to use, like the the Lonzo Ball, the James Harden. But another good two is the Chris Paul and John Wall. If you just want some of the fast fastest ones um then when it comes to michael joining mj when it comes to just doing a, a real life tween or a real life crossover those in my opinion are the best animations for such things and that's the crossovers i would personally have to recommend all right next is the moving behind the back in my opinion the moving behind the back this year is kind of mid 
And I really just run one just so I don't get bump stolen as much as possible. So I run pro. They did add a new one. I think it was Andrew Wiggins. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to find myself using it. I've seen some people using the Scottie Pippen. A lot of people love the Damian Lillard. Um, Stephen Curry is even pretty decent. But me personally, I like to use pro. That's what I've been using since season one. All right, next the moving spin. All of these are good. But when it comes to doing spin backs, this has like a more variety of spin backs. All of them has a spin back, but this has like way more different options to be able to spin back and stuff like that. So, but if you do want to go with something, you can go with the KD, the J the Penny, the Jokic, the James, the, the Steve Nash, even the new Andy Davis. But for sure, the my favorite one is the basic because, yeah, it just is what it is. All right, now as for the movement, has he, you can go with the KD, you can go with the Luka, you can go with the Zach Levine. It really doesn't really matter. Um, I don't really use it that much, but I think the Luka or the KD is by far the best two in the game. But the, the Levine is up there too a little bit. All right, next, the moving step back. I'm going to have to go with the Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic's moving step back is really, 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 really good um i definitely have to say i prefer the luka Doncic over everything um but the james Harden has his benefits the jimmy butler has his benefits the Kyrie has some a, a throwback move that a lot of people love and the jason tatum people use this on the hop jumper to be able to do like some type of glitch but yeah i'd definitely rather the luka Doncic out of all of them. all right next is the triple threat to be honest it's some other good triple threats i think triple threat style is one of the most underrated packages i've told y'all this for years now but yeah, Michael Jordan is definitely my favorite one. Um, it's really just that simple. Now, there's some other ones that you could use, but Michael Jordan is the one that I prefer out of all of them. I don't even buy any other ones, to be honest. That's how much more. I just rather Michael Jordan. I'm just comfortable with it and all that type of stuff. All right, next, the pass style. Um, I have tested all of these. I think the best one. I had did a video and said the best one was Steph Curry. Um, at one point in the year, I thought LeBron was the best. At one point in the year, I thought LaMelo was the best. At one point in the year, I thought Magic was the best. But for the last two seasons, I'm not going to lie, none just feels the most comfortable. It doesn't do too much. It doesn't change people's time is like, like the uh, LeBron. Um, changing people's time is one of the biggest deals for me on current next gen that kind of ruins the game in a lot of ways. Really hope 2K don't bring that for 2K24. It's around that time where we need to start talking about that. But yeah, none. Past that was the one I gotta say is the, is the one I gotta go with. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys want more videos like this, just make sure to show support by liking and subscribing. I've been going crazy on the streams lately on the backup channel, so all you gotta do is you wanna be in tune to those. Just make sure to go follow me down in the description. Click those links. Make sure you follow me on Kick. Make sure you follow me on uh, Twitch. Uh, you can join the Discord if you wanna be more connected with me and all those type of situations. But yeah. That's going to be it for today. If you guys want more, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Make sure you go down and look at all of our backup channels and see if you mess with any of that stuff. I got a channel for pretty much anything. NBA, music, NFL. It don't matter. Just go ahead and look and see if you like any of this stuff. Make sure you subscribe to what you like. And you ain't even got to subscribe to nothing else. But that's going to be pretty much it for today. If you guys want more, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. Share this video to anybody that will help. All that good stuff out the way, though. It's your boy Fitz. Now to be Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!